and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we will tell you about all the latest projects as well as news for the company. And as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Well, we finally hit the huge $1 million milestone for Hell the Last Saga on Monday and over 10,000 backers yesterday. We are so excited and you've all been amazing throughout. Your support is truly outstanding and we have already unlocked many stretch goals. Now we've also started adding some uh, and revealing some add-ons, all of which are cosmetic only and um, all of the gameplay is actually packed into our Berserk Core Pledge. So as a reminder, the campaign will end on May 26th. So you do have another six days to jump into this fully immersive narrative Viking themed board game. Moving on to Time of Legends Joan of Arc. As you know, running a Kickstarter is very time and resource consuming and all of our graphic designers are currently spending their time on Hell the Last Saga. And this is why we are running a bit late in the layout of the scenario books for Joan of Arc. There are still a few graphic design aspects that are not fully fledged um, so we're holding back until next week to share those scenario books with you. Our aim is to still share the Reliquary, Ars Nova, and Apocalypse books done by then, so stay tuned. Now an update on the replacements for Joan of Arc 1.0. The online replacement form was not functioning well, but now the website is up and running and anyone needing replacements within the Meeple Logistics areas can go and order them as usual. Replacements through the rest of our hubs still need to contact us at support at mythicgames.net. Moving on to Solomon Kane. In the last update, we left Solomon in a cavern. Today, we're here to present the third and final act for Moon of Skulls. Solomon is now found with a young girl. Who is she? Where did he find her? Well, the room they enter is small, dark, and cell-like. By the light coming in from the open door, Cain quickly locates a recess in which a cluster of candles sit atop a mound of waxen stalactites. He strikes flint and steel to the wicks, then quickly closes the door. Where does this path lead? Well, Cain runs from the room, dragging Marilyn with him by the arm. Down a long, dark corridor, they rush. Nikari converge on them from all parts of the city, brandishing spears, clubs, and knives. They can't outrun the guards together, so the Puritan is forced to make a fateful choice. Will our Puritan escape, or will he be cornered? This concludes the Moon of Skulls. We will be back next week with yet another adventure. Moving on to Reichbusters, first of all, the shipping is moving along and more games are arriving at their destinations. There are no changes in the plan that we've already published and no disruptions have been reported by Meeple Logistics. However, there are still 208 backers who have not completed their address verification form. A new one was sent out last Friday to be completed by this Friday. Now, for those who do not get verified, we will have no choice but to send the packages out to the unverified addresses. We hope that the FAQ and errata that we shared last week was helpful for you. We are continuing to read your feedback and update the document, but we won't post a new one until there is a major update with significant changes therein. As we've said, these digital assets are for your convenience until we print out what we need to have. Backers will receive an errata pack containing all the corrected cards and the new rulebook. Uh, we'll let you know closer to its release if there are any actions that need to be taken on your end. And finally, we want to bring some exciting news to you. We have been working on a small surprise as a thank you for your support throughout all of this and your patience in this challenging a pandemic period. Introducing Operation Wolfly. Yes, it's a nod to the famous Operation Foxley from World War II. This is a mini campaign with only three scenarios and it will be shared with you digitally. It will be using existing materials, so there's no need for additional purpose purchases. It will be absolutely free. This is the most story-driven campaign that we have done in Reichbusters yet, 
And we are currently preparing this and we'll share it with you as soon as we can. The Steam Watchers team has been working on the third expansion, Spark of Hope. As a reminder, the Spark of Hope will allow you to maneuver a caravan around the board. This caravan is also represented by a dashboard that you attach to your clan board. It can move troops quickly around the board as it is activated with a dedicated order token space. And it may also harbor tactical kits which greatly enhance its capabilities. Now that lockdown is lifted, the team should be able to meet and finalize some more things soon. Now remember, watchers, the pledge manager closes on May 29th, so make sure you complete your pledges before it's too late. At the moment, 91% of the backers have done so. Well, that's it for this week. As a reminder, Hell the Last Saga is on Kickstarter right now, so you can go check it out as it lasts until May 26th. Stay home, stay safe, play some games, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.